Hello students, welcome you all to the video lecture on M2M IoT architecture. M2M in the sense machine to machine communication which refers to the automated exchange of data between the devices without any human intervention. So how the M2M device will work? So the devices will collect the data and then the data is transmitted via wired or wireless networks and then there is a central system which processes the data and take necessary actions or provide insights. Then the MTM IoT architecture it consists of three main domains. One is device and gateway domain and then network domain and then the application domain. The device and gateway domain is responsible for collecting the data and then communicating with the network. So it consists of MTM device, MTM area network and then MTM gateway and then MTM service capabilities. MTM devices consist of sensors, actuators and smart devices that generates the data and then MTM area network is a local communication network connecting the multiple MTM devices like Zigbee, Bluetooth and then LoRa, Wi-Fi and then MTM gateway is nothing but it acts as a bridge between the device and the core network enabling the communication and then the processes the some data locally and then MTM service capabilities it provides the essential functionalities like data aggregation, local processing, security and then the device management and then once the data has been collected it will be transmitted to the network domain. So the network domain ensures the seamless communication between the devices and applications through various wired or wireless technologies. So the access network is one. It is the first layer of communication that connects the devices or gateways to the core network and then the core network is the backbone network which is responsible for data transport, authentication and managing the traffic between the devices and the applications. And then the application domain. It includes MTM applications and then cloud based platforms that processes and analyze the collected data for decision making. So the MTM application is one which is a smart application that uses the data for automation, monitoring and control of the data. Then MTM service capabilities are responsible for enabling the interoperability, data processing and then the security and then the device management. So it consists of APIs and the middleware. So then the MTM management functions are there. So there are two key management functions layer in the MTM architecture. One is MTM management function, another one is network management function. So the MTM management function, it's, it provides the service capabilities and applications and ensures the device interoperability, provides security and access control. And then the network management functions, which manages the network infrastructure like routers, access points and then the servers. Also it ensures the quality of service and then the reliability. It also handles the connectivity issues also. So in simple what I can say the overall MTM architecture it consists of three domains device domain and gateway dom device and gateway domain, network domain and then the application domain. So the device domain is responsible for collecting and sending the data and then the network domain it transmits the data using the access and the core networks and then the application domain it will process the data generates the insights and enables the automation thank you thanks for watching